Kira, which is a type of an oven, and I'll draw a picture of it over here. We said that it has two place for two pots. We'll probably put the wood or straw inside over there, and the two pots would go there on top. So Kira is this oven. Let's write Kira. Shehzikua. Well, let's enlarge that. Um, let's see if we can do this. Shehzikua bekasha guvava. Uh, the case is that it was lit with straw. That's a little too fat. So let's go back. And let's try it like this. This is a type of straw. Actually, interesting. Um, Rashi says that Gvava, over here, Rashi says, Hanigvav minasada. He says ishtubla, which sounds like stubble. So gvava is the straw that's left in the field after the wheat is cut. So if let's try to make a picture over here. So if you would have like a stalk of wheat, and this would be the wheat, then you would come along and cut it. And this, of course, is the ground. So what's left here is the kvava. This here is the kash. And then the wheat itself is you grind it. So you have two parts of the straw. So if you use this straw to light up the kira, so nice nanola tavshel. You're allowed to put on it a cooked dish. Or a tavshel maybe is a, uh, a stew a cooked dish. You're allowed to put it on top of the kira. And let's assume that we're dealing with Erev Shabbos and you're putting up your chalant. So if you lit the kira with straw, that's not a problem. However, begefes veitzim, if you use something called mark, which the C, mark is the leftover um, of the sesames after they're pressed to get the oil out, to get sesame oil. Or eitzim, or if you used wood, then loyitain. You're not, you should not put the pot on the fire, until you shovel, until you shovel the the coals, or until you put the ashes on top. Okay. So let's go back to our picture. Actually, let me switch that shovel and take that away. You know what? Can't read anything in there. So we'll do it like this. I'll write it on the side. That yigrif means to shovel. Yigrif means to to shovel. And you would shovel the coal. So if you would have this oven, which we'll go up and look at it. So if inside there was kash and gvava, it's depending what's going on in here. If there's kash and gvava, if there's straw, then there's no problem. You can put it on. However, if it's um, gefes, which we said is mark, which is the leftover sesame seeds, or eitzim, which is wood, then you have two choices. Either you can shovel out all the coals, right? You shovel out all the coals. Right. You can shovel it out, uh, or achitin safer, or you can throw the ashes on top of it to show. Both of these things show that you don't want to use the fire anymore. Okay, uh, I should mention that that is the what we use today is a blech, is one of these options is covering the fire to show that uh, you don't need the heat. And the the concern over here is something called shema yechata that you might come to stoke the coals on Shabbos. Beshama yaimrim cham and avalei tapshul. Beshama says that you can put on the fire after you've covered it or shoveled it out. You can put hot water. So this is just hot water. But not lay tapshul. But you can't put a stew. A cooked food. It says you can do both. And there's another machlekes. You can take it off, but you can't return it. Basil says you can return it as well, uh, which is what we do.